Day 302, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on joy. Fear those not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41.10, King James Version. Day 303, Monday. Staying positive does not mean that things will turn out okay. Rather, it is knowing that you will be okay no matter how things turn out. Day 304, Tuesday. If you can't, for whatever reason, remain positive, don't go to the negative. Just put your mind in neutral for a while until you can shift your thoughts and drive them back to the positive vibration. Day 305, Wednesday. Your beauty outside should always be a reflection of your beauty blowing inside. Day 306, Thursday. Trust is like a glass. Once it is broken, it can be very difficult to put it back together again. Day 307, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, be good, stay, or sit calmly. Day 308, Saturday. Keep your face toward the sunlight and you'll always get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Day 309, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on gentleness. And this is the confidence that we may have in Him, that if we ask for anything according to His will, He heareth us. 1 John 5.14, King James Version. Day 310, Monday. Being silent in solitude can answer all the questions you may have in life. Day 311, Tuesday. The secret for being happy is being grateful for what you have instead of what you don't have. Day 312, Wednesday. Thinking about someone who makes you happy actually makes you happy. Day 313, Thursday. Happiness is a personal and spiritual experience of living every moment from breath to breath with love, kindness, and an abiding gratitude for life. Day 314, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, life and prosperity are in the care of God. Day 315, Saturday. Love is like a butterfly, which when chased after 
is always fleeting. But if we learn to sit quietly and perfectly still long enough, that butterfly may actually land itself upon us. Day 316, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on faithfulness. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Psalms 143.8, King James Version. Day 317, Monday. It can be an equal shortcoming to trust everybody or to trust nobody. Day 318, Tuesday. We do not pray for easy lives. We pray to be stronger souls. Day 319, Wednesday. Joy does not come from the absence of problems, but the ability to resolve them. Day 320, Thursday. The hardest part about being a strong person is that no one ever asks if you're all right. Day 321, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, love speaks in a gentle, joyous voice, not in harshness or gruffness. Day 322, Saturday. Life's biggest things are made up of a collection of life's little things all put together. Day 323, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on self-control. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Psalms 86, 5, King James Version. Day 324, Monday. The heart is itself a strong muscle, and when muscles are torn or broken, they go back even stronger than ever. Day 325, Tuesday. The choice is to be happy and loving is always yours alone to make. Day 326, Wednesday. The brave soul is not the one who does not feel afraid, but the one who overcomes that fear. Day 327, Thursday. The soul never ceases to learn and grow more brightly, neither on earth or in heaven. Day 328, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are what parents do children do. Day 329, Saturday. Heaven is a beautiful place, full of beautiful souls, having a beautiful time that shall never end. 
Are you ready? Day 330, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on kindness. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 431, King James Version. Day 331, Monday. For a Christian, heaven is where Jesus Christ and our holy family live. If we knew nothing else about heaven, it is enough to know that we will be with Jesus and our heavenly family together forever, one day. Day 332, Tuesday. Our life upon this earth holds no sorrow that being in heaven cannot heal. Day 333, Wednesday. Yes, heaven is the place to relieve us from the pain, tears, and all the suffering and death brought into this world by the fall from grace in humanity. That is why God tells us through the Holy Scriptures that in heaven there will be no more sorrow, pain, crying, or death. Yes, it will surely be worth the wait and all of our human struggles. Day 334, Thursday. Earth is where terrestrials live. Heaven is where extraterrestrials live. One day we shall discover that the heaven bound are always where the extraterrestrials we had been wondering about had always lived. Day 335, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, treat a person who comes in kindness with kindness. Day 336, Saturday. It is right to say that no one judges us in the afterlife except the divine law which each soul's consciousness knows as the difference between right and wrong which heaven itself has ordained. Day 337, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on patience. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 3.23 and 24, King James Version. Day 338, Monday. What are you doing for heaven's sake today? Day 339, Tuesday. Many speak about heaven being a place so far away. Wait until we discover it was a place just one channel up on the cosmic television of life. Day 340, Wednesday. The more of heavenly things we desire, the less of earthly things we want. 
Day 341, Thursday. Heaven is a place for those who are born again, who love God and are ready to speak the language of love, where they will be happy and at home forever. Day 342, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are that which was secret is no longer hidden. Day 343, Saturday. How sweet is rest after a long tiredness. How sweet will heaven be after our brief journey when our trials and tribulations have ended here upon the earth. Day 344, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on joy. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, It is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Romans 13, 9, King James Version. Day 345, Monday. May we then say that the self only truly perceived is recognized as the soul we all say and wish will rest in peace at a funeral or at the conclusion of one's life's earthly journey. Day 346, Tuesday. Heaven gives us a soul while the earth has given us a grave. Day 347, Wednesday. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Now, if we only knew what within you means and where within you is. Day 348, Thursday, you will find yourself in heaven when you begin to identify yourself in heaven and begin thinking heavenly thoughts. Day 349, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, it is in the way you serve others that your greatness is felt. Day 350, Saturday. Heaven is not a figment of our imagination. It is a prepared place for a prepared people. Day 351, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on gentleness. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Proverbs 21.21, King James Version. Day 352, Monday. We start the journey by losing ourselves in love. That's when we discover we have truly found ourselves in love. Day 353, Tuesday. You find the love you seek by first finding the love within yourself. 
then you can say, I'm a home. I'm finally home. Day 354, Wednesday. When you do find the real you, don't be surprised if the rest of the world then looks upon you in shock or disbelief. Day 355, Thursday. The love for heaven is just a homesickness that we carry, leading us to return back to our heavenly home one day. Day 356, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, Every deed, good and bad, receives its just reward. Day 357, Saturday. Christmas from the start means Christmas from your heart. Day 358, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on faithfulness. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7, King James Version. Day 359, Monday. Let this be our prayer, just like every child needs to find a place. Guide us with your grace, give us faith, so we'll be safe. Day 360, Tuesday. How can goodness happen when you're on the wrong pathway? Day 361, Wednesday. If you're not dancing in the light, perhaps it's because you don't hear the music. Days 362, Thursday. The last page turned in a story of life begins a new story or chapter in a whole new book. Day 363, Aloha Friday. Today's Hawaiian words of wisdom are, be one in love, be united in the bonds of affection. Day 364, Saturday. The top 10 rules for a beautiful life are, number one, for attractive lips, speak words of kindness. Number two, for lovely eyes, see only the good in people. Number three, for a slim figure, share your food with the hungry. Number four, for beautiful hair, allow someone you love to run their fingers through your hair. Number five, for poise, walk with the knowledge that you'll never walk alone. Number six, never throw anyone out of your heart. Number seven, whenever you need a helping hand, remember you'll find one at the end of your arm. Number eight, as you grow older, you'll realize that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other for helping others. Number nine, the true beauty of a soul can be seen through the eyes which are the doorway to the heart where true love resides. Number 10, 
If you follow the above guidelines in your life, your inner beauty for life will grow incrementally as you become increasingly wise with the passing years. Day 365, Sacred Sunday. Today's focus is on love. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6, King James Version. Epilogue. Yes, it's been quite the lifetime thus far, and I pray there are still many other loving and transformational experiences in store for me. I really don't know how much time the good Lord has left for me, but my daily prayer is to fulfill the soul role goal assignments I have been given for this lifetime. I was given to see these assignments during my NDE near-death experience in 1966 when I drowned at the Santa Cruz Beach and Boardwalk in Southern California. I believe I still have a few soul role goal assignments left before I will be able to retire into total devotional seclusion. I am already a bit of a hermit with a low social profile beyond my weekly interactions and publications on social media. The remaining soul role goal assignments yet to fulfill would include the composition and production of another digital music CD and a book of poetry after this current book is published. I'm quite certain that there will be additional stories of my lifetime experiences recorded in my daily diaries. These may be entered in a future or updated publication release of my biography book, A Day in the Life of a Soul. Probably won't be another 66, 68 years unless Jesus Christ returns to earth in his second coming. In the meantime, a lot of this time in life I reference to as what to do till the Messiah returns. I will continue to pray and meditate daily, do the sun salutation and a few yoga postures to stretch the gravity out of my physical body and hope that all souls fulfill their own personal soul role goal assignments in this very lifetime.
the day.